Hello everyone, Farm Further here and today I want to talk about something different than a motorbike. I want to talk about medication and that is specifically about medication uh, to treat diarrhea when we travel because that is one thing which almost everyone faces and from my own experience um, there is a lot of people who suffer way too much because they don't have a correct medication or they just don't know how to treat it. Now, I uh, put a lot of research into this. I made a presentation, the whole, yes, whole presentation about diarrhea. Um, and I had the talk on Horizons Unlimited and here in the Czech Republic about it. So uh, please um, go to my website. There is a uh, link in the description to there uh, where you can download the whole PDF and uh, this video is not gonna be just going through the presentation because um, the whole talk is usually about an hour long there's a lot of things to cover uh, about that topic um, so this is gonna be more kind of a quick run I need to do a short disclaimer I am not medically trained but the research which I have done has been consulted and verified with my friends who are doctors and pharmacists and we agreed on uh, what's in the presentation but um, it's for adults uh, not for the kids for the kids you need to do your own research into doses and some of the medications um, if you have allergies you especially the lactose because some of those contain lactose you need to um, think twice and discuss that with the doctor as well and obviously if you have some complications involving gut and stomach again this needs to be um, discussed with your doctor so please uh, keep that in mind so why do we get a diarrhea um, well we have a bacteria in our gut, uh, everyone has it, and there's a unique cocktail for almost everyone. And uh, when everything is in balance, it's kind of okay. Here in the West, we have predominantly some kind of a cocktail, while um, in countries where they eat more vegetables, they have actually a little bit different cocktail. And um, here we have already the thing that you go somewhere um, where the food is different and the balance gets knocked off and you may start feeling uh, a little bit sick and get the diarrhea and that's not even when we get some infections of viruses or bacteria that's just that the balance is coming out you can obviously get sick from uh, bad food and infections contaminated water and all that there's more information in the presentation how to prevent that well um what we can do is we can change the diet before we leave so we get used to the diet you know if you if you're eating just meat uh, try to introduce some vegetables before you go um, then uh, what we can do is also we can add some uh, probiotics and prebiotics um, it's basically bacteria in pills uh, you can eat that before you go uh, to get a little bit uh, healthier um, uh, bacteria culture down in the gut um, is also useful and one of the best things to do is to get booze with you the booze is important because um, it's working as a disinfectant so anything higher than 40 percent is going to work um, what i do is i have a shot in the morning i have a shot in the evening and if i eat something which i'm like ooh, that might be odd um, i get the shot as well and um, it works magic to be honest um, everywhere in the world it was absolutely perfect so that gives you and it's even recommended by the pharmacist and everybody so booze is important before the medication so now about the medication what I want to say is there are a few things which I want to debunk just before we start even and that is um, a lot of people think that if they go to um, a hospital or pharmacy in the place, they will give them something special. While that may be a case, 99% of the time it's not the case uh, because it's a global world and the medications get approved and then they will basically circulate the world. And um, so 
Uh, in the presentation, um, each of the medications has its own slide, and I structured it in a such a way that there is a locked in the name of the substance which is important. This is niforazoide, bleh. and then there is a brand name. In this case, it's Enceforil. Um, and those brand names can be completely different in the different countries, while the medication itself is actually exactly the same thing. So, for example, in, in case of Enceforil, if you go to Africa, it's going to be called Antinal, and it's going to be exactly the same thing. So you don't actually get anything special there. It's just a different brand name. Now, there is a big problem with antibiotics and thinking that somebody somewhere in the world is going to give you something special. Um, most of the time, they will already give you one of these things, which I have here, uh, with a different name, or they will give you some really general antibiotic, which is which is actually got what you don't want. Um, so careful about that. Um, just usually, if they give you something special, you will they will have to take a sample of the poo and analyze it. Otherwise, it's probably better to take what I have in here. Okay, so let's go for the medication. One of the really popular things to take with you when you travel is Imodium. Um, this is a loperamid uh, in Latin and it's opioid. Um, what it does, it actually um, restricts movement of your gut. That means that you go to the toilet less often. Um, that's all what it does. And that's one of the big problems with Imodium because you can stop going to the toilet, but you still have uh, a bad bacteria in your gut and they are doing really bad stuff um, and that's going to hide it. So Imodium is not a treatment, it is just to keep things inside and usually it's combined with things which actually treat stuff, right? So a lot of people eat Imodium a lot and that's not good because it can stop movement of your gut and you actually don't really want that. So that's Imodium. Another uh, in a row would be something called Hydrasec. You can kind of think about this as a modern Imodium. The Hydrasec is also just treating symptoms. It's not treating uh, the cause itself, but it works in a different way. Uh, Hydrasec just limits the amount of water and electrolytes which are released to the gut, which means that it gets thicker and it stays there longer. So for that, it's better than Imodium in the sense that it doesn't really influence the movement of your gut, which is what you want, because the, the body is trying to discharge stuff which it doesn't like. So you actually want to, at some point, to go away. So Hydrosec and that is kind of Imodium on steroids. So that's it. Uh, there's another one which I don't actually have here, which is their Smectid or Smecta, which is a medical clay. And um, that is really cool because it absorbs toxins, bacteria and other things, binds it onto itself, and then it just goes out to the toilet. Um, so it also doesn't really treat the, the, the cause, but it at least takes things out um, a little bit, which um, is useful, of course, and it's 100% natural. And now we actually go um, to the um, antibiotics. I have two antibiotics in here. One is Enceforil. Um, that is something which I would call disinfectant, effectively. Um, it is um, reasonably uh, good antibiotic that it's not uh, doing a lot of things. Uh, it's not wide spectrum one um, and it really just kills everything um, inside the gut um, and uh, gets it get things done. So um, you combine it with um, these two things uh, because you need to keep it um, inside for a little bit longer so it can do its job and then um, you're fine. So the next after the Enceforil would be a Normix. 
And Normix is kind of a modern um, NSF world, to be honest. Um, it's very narrow spectrum um, antibiotic, and it's really, really difficult for our bodies to absorb, which makes it perfect for, for this, because it has very few side effects and it just works where it's supposed to work in the gut. So again, this is something which is really, really cool to have. I think that the uh, combination actually of Hydrasac and um, um, Normix is uh, really, really powerful. And then uh, in a presentation you will find Cipro and other stuff and that is uh, there just to say do not, you know, have that. Those are really wide spectrum antibiotics which are really, really bad and if somebody gives it to you in, the, in there, they need to have really, really good reason to do it. Um, if it's just because they don't have anything else, it, you would be much better to take something like this with you. Okay, so what to use when, really, if I have um, a mild diarrhea, I would probably actually take vodka um, uh, with a little bit of a hydrasec um, to just keep it in. Um, or you can start doing a little bit one pill of the Normix. If you have a moderate one, I would start with the hydrasec and Normix. Um, if it's water and it's really bad, you know, um, start using something a little bit more um, brutal like um, Imodium and Sephoril. Now the important thing is if you medicate yourself with this in two days you should be back on feet. Um, it, if it's not getting better in let's say 48 hours um, it's probably a good idea to go to hospital because it may be something else. So keep that in mind, um, that's important. So after that you are finished with the medication, what we need to do is to replenish the water and electrolytes and minerals. Um, to do that, it's ideal to use something like the ORS, uh, which is oral rehydration um, solution. It's from WHO, uh, the recipe, and you can buy it anywhere in the world. Um, and you just keep drinking it and drinking it until you are 100%. If you want to make the uh, homemade one, there's a recipe in the presentation, but uh, usually um, it's water, salt, and sugar. And that's it. Uh, if you have a coconut water, do coconut water, because coconut water has a lot of potassium in it, and that makes it um, even better. You can eat everything almost after that. Raw milk is probably not the best idea. Uh, but what I would recommend is to use the probiotics after that, especially after the encephoril. If you um, use encephoril, it is great to use the uh, probiotics um, to get your gut started because you need to replenish the good bacteria in there so it functions properly. Right? So that's the probiotics. I think that's enough for the video, um, it's long enough, uh, there's much more in, in, in the presentation so please download that. So I would like to close that with the toast uh, to shitless road trips and uh, have a good journey and see you on the road. <laughs>